Hi, this is Autumn with Autumn's Upscale Resale, and I'm making a quick video about how to make shoes relatively presentable for eBay pictures. Now, uh, most of you know that I have a light setup that I use. This is my lighting setup. I'm about to take pictures. That's my dog. Of um, I have two dogs, and they're both small dogs. Um, I'm going to take pictures of all these shoes down here. Men, some men's and women's. I have um, a couple more to process over here, but what I'm doing is taking this carpet cleaner, believe it or not, I've used this product for almost, geez, for the, since at the beginning of um, selling on eBay. I was desperate one day to like try to get a stain out of a coach bag and I was just looking through all the products that we had in our house and this works really good for removing lots of different stains and cleaning leather, believe it or not. And um, I'll just show you how I use it. I actually, dil I buy it by the gallon. You can see the gallon down there. And I have these extra bottles lying around. I dilute it 60% um, Folex, 40% water. So I fill it, you know, I pour, I fill it to about right here with the gallon and I fill the rest with water because I think it goes pretty far and I try to be thrifty. <clears throat> so I have shoe polish there, <clears throat> excuse me, the brown. I also use a black. I like the new design on them because they're very um, good for corners and stuff. Believe it or not, they used to have an older design that was flat. It didn't have any edges. I didn't like it. This new design's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get to the shoe here. Now, I wanted to show you. It's so hard to see in this lighting. I don't even know how to make it any better. But um, hard to show you. But when you look at the two shoes comparatively, you can see the difference. I mean, what I do to make the shoe look uh, presentable for eBay is I stuff the shoe with some sort of paper. I either get like packing paper or I use the rest of the paper from the shoes, the, you know, like the printing, printing labels. And I just stuff the shoe, you know, so it gets a nice look at the toe and kind of gets this bend out. I don't like that bend in there, never have, you know. So when I take the bright photograph with the lights, I want it to look nice, not like this. I don't like the way this looks. I just don't like it. So I tie the laces, I tuck them in, to the back of the shoe because I just like the way that looks better. This is all preference of mine. You can photograph them or prepare them however you'd like. But um, this shoe is dirty to me. It has a dust line. It has, you know, dirt on the bottom, stuff on the bottom. So literally it's, I know I should be filming these videos a little different, but I'm not together enough today to be in a video. So doing it like this. Now, I'm telling you, I take the Folex and I liberally spray this type of shoe, because this is a leather shoe, and I'll pick the rocks out of the bottom. But I liber liberally spray the shoe, and I literally just wipe it down. So that's what I do with the Folex. Again, it's diluted 60-40. And what I try to focus on is, it's hard to see, but there's like all this dust in the line right here. And the Folex actually just evaporates off the shoe, because that's what carpet cleaner does, is it kind of like has a property that evaporates. So you see it looks a little darkened or a little darker or whatnot. Now, that's okay for me because I actually am bold with my shoe um, polish. You know, this is the type of leather, this thick Doc Martin leather. You can just paint right over it with the shoe polish. And it's going to dry and it's going to look like this. Now, this shoe is so hard to see in this light. I'm sorry. I wish I could have like natural light. Look, there's a natural light over here. Okay, here we go. Let's try and see if this works a little bit so hard to see in this lighting downstairs. What I'm trying to show you is that this shoe is cleaner than it looked before. So hard to see with the bright light behind it. But in any case, it doesn't, it's, the Folex is dried, the shoe polish is dried, and we have a nice looking shoe, relatively nice looking shoe. The dust is out of the corner. You know, I also, like I said, wipe the bottom. I do take a picture of the bottom of the shoe. So now that shoe's prepped for photographs. So I just wanted to go over a little bit of how I get the shoes ready for photographs. And I do spray every shoe. I'll show you why. Here's two other examples of shoes that I'm gonna prep here in a minute. This is a good example of a shoe that needs a lot, like a lot of prepping. Do you see that, all that? Now, believe it or not, I can't do it because I can't put the phone down and film a video at the same time, but I am going to use the same technique. I'll spray the entire shoe. I'll get the dust off the top, off the line of the side. There's dust here in the crease. So I'll get all that dust off. 
I'll cover this whole line with shoe polish. I mean, liberally. I'm a liberal shoe polisher. And the next time I do this video, like a shoe polish video, I will, you know, get myself together here so I can be in the video so I can show you exactly how I'm doing this because it's an incredible technique I've formed to clean shoes. Now, all shoes get sprayed with Folex because if you look at this shoe here, it's dirty. There's dust. There's a dust line. There's just dust everywhere on the shoes from the thrift store. And the way Folex is, is it just dries really nicely. I really like the way that it just evaporates off of the shoe. And it takes care of that dirt and dust line in there in the edge of the shoe. It takes care of the dust on the top. And, you know, this side still needs to be sprayed. And I will spray the bottom of these shoes because the Folex has a cleansing, a cleaning property that helps evaporate dirt and debris. And so I like the way this product works to clean shoes. It's basically been my staple. And, you know, it's kind of dirty work cleaning other people's shoes. <laughs> it's often been really bad. I mean, you can imagine what's in there in some of them. But that's why, you know, I do wear, I used to wear gloves and spray everything with Folex. It was like my way of disinfecting everything. And I like the way the shoe, it does not damage the leather of the shoes. Now, I wouldn't spray Folex on suede necessarily, but you can use it on all types of leather, even patent leather. Cow, you know, cow leather, this heavy leather, any type of leather. So come on over and like my Facebook page where you can get more tips and tricks on how to ship shoes, clean them, do whatever you need to them, get them ready for photographs. All right, thanks for watching.